Hey, what's going on my nerd dizzle? I say faux shizzle to my nerd dizzle. <laughs> Sorry about that. If you know uh, what show that's from, you know what, two man points go to you. Amazing show that is. So welcome back to my Game Week 8 review. And uh, as I kind of alluded to in my squad selection this week, I uh, used my wild card. So I made a string of changes. Um, however, unfortunately, <laughs> didn't quite work. Um, every substitution I made was uh, well didn't work basically, except from one, and um, it was to kind of get more strength and depth in my midfield. And I thought that that would benefit me. This week, however, it it really didn't, and uh, I'll go through that quickly. So um, I brought in uh, Brad Friedel. Um, purely because of his uh, run of games that he's got coming up. I can kind of see him getting a, uh, a few clean sheets there. Um, and that's effectively my same reason for bringing in King. Now, my big debate when I was um, doing this substitution was the big thing with King is his uh, injury-prone um, habits. Um, he just seems to get injured all the time. And, um, you know, I get him in because he's uh, had a good run of games, and then he gets injured the first game I pick him. <laughs> uh, just, you know, always the way it goes, I suppose. Um, and moving on to my other sub, Gibbs. Um, purely my reasoning for bringing in Gibbs was the amount of points that he had, you know, to the amount of minutes he's played is really quite impressive. Um, Arsenal, I can, you know, they're bound to pick up. They're Arsenal. They're, they're, you know, the amount of quality they've got in that side, passing ability, you know, they can just, you know, annihilate teams at times. So I can see him picking me up points. He's going to be a rotation risk um, because of Andre Santos. Um, I almost forgot his name there. But um, no, he looks quite threatening going forward. But um, I think Arsene Wenger at the present moment, um, may prefer Gibbs uh, in that left-back role. But um, with him being an injury doubt there, look, muscle injury, 75% chance of playing, um, he could lose his place to Santos, and that could prove to not be a, a well-thought-out transfer. But um, regardless, I think uh, he can get me a few points, con and considering how cheap he is, I think it could be money well spent. Moving on to midfield, which is where, for this week, my uh, big mistake is... But um, hopefully, uh, in the long term, kind of things, it'll uh, prove to be uh, a benefit. Um, Nani, he's uh, very expensive. Uh, he was on the bench, and uh, because Liverpool uh, scored through Gerrard, um, he came off the bench. But uh, he wasn't um, selected. Oh, what did I do there? I clicked on it, and now it's gone all weird. No, I'm going to have to redo my screen size which I absolutely hate because it's on my TV and not a separate monitor so frustrating and I really don't know how to sort it out just to stick to one size it's really is frustrating but um, yeah so Nani for this week didn't work and considering how expensive he is you know that was really wasn't a very clever move next Moses um, I brought him in because basically well he's cheap 4.8 and he's, you know, he's consistent. I've almost done the same thing I just done before. Click on the score. You look at his history. Look, two points, two points, three points, two points, two points, two points. Yes, it's you know the bare minimum you expect of a play. Look, he's playing ninety minutes, so he's played a lot of game time, and to only get seventeen points, you know, that's uh, really not very good. But he really is, you know, a matter of getting a goal or assist, and he's getting you know, medium to high points, and at £4.8 million, you know, he really is someone who could, you know, just explode, but having said that, you know, the fantasy football community really have been uh, getting on the bandwagon, getting him, him in, because of his pre-season um, goal-scoring record, and um, he you know, really just hasn't produced um, thus far, and you can see there, started at, f you know, £5 million. People started getting him out pretty consistently, and he's just dropped to 4.8, which is really, really quite low. But um, now's the time that I uh, decide to get him into my team because he's that low that I really just think, you know, he blows up for a week or two, and for 4.8 million, that's a good bit of business. Moving on to Silver, Mr. Consistency on my side. Um, again, didn't play, rotation. Um, 
Mancini has rotated, um, and you know that's really costed me with Nani and Silva being one of my, you know, my two big, um, you know, taking up my transfer um, money, and didn't play, um, which is uh, really the the main rule you need to have in fantasy football that your you you know your players are playing. But um, for this week, neither of them did, and you know my score suffered. Um, moving on to my forwards. Bon Lahore, again, two points for the 90 minutes, and Long, two points for the 90 minutes. And that's my highest you know, score tally for two, until I get to add it by all. <laughs> you know, it just seems to be to be me, really, that, um, you know, I'm not hardly getting any score elsewhere. Get one big player, and he seems to be my captain, so... um. Thank my lucky stars that that's the case. He uh, got two assists, getting six points, and then played 88 minutes and got two points. Um, you know, giving me eight points, double that, it seems to my captain, 16. And I really needed that too. Um, moving on to my subs. I had Schwarzer, who, you know, one point, nothing. Luis, zero, who I honestly thought, I honestly thought he would um, start for Chelsea. Um, I still think he may be an astute signing, but um, you know he really hasn't played that much, which is kind of surprising because when I was seeing him in the Champions League, he looked a real danger threat, um, getting goals, um, being very attack-minded, and being in a Chelsea team that you know you would usually expect to get clean sheets. I can see him, um, you know, being being a big player, but for whatever reason, he's not playing in the. Uh, in the Premier League, he seems to only be playing in cup competitions, which is kind of a shame because I, I kind of like the the look of David Luiz, but for whatever reason, he's he's not getting a look in. Um, any of you Chelsea fans out there, tell me why, because uh, I quite like the look of him. Um, bringing in Bannon, um, the main reason for bringing in him was well, purely because of his uh, last two weeks before um, the away tie in Manchester City. 11 and 7 points, you know, that, that's quite impressive form right there, um, but uh, unfortunately this week he, uh, he didn't get any, any points, and as you see here, look, he, his um, point, uh, his, his value rather, has risen by 0.1 because of the uh, the interest, because of the, his past two weeks, I'll be honest, I didn't, I wasn't really looking at him thinking he, you know what, like my other players, like possibly Moses thinking, oh, he could be a bargain, um, it was purely because of his form, um, a little bit due to his fixtures, yeah, they're not great, but you know, they're not bad, and um, mainly his form. So um, that's why I picked him, and obviously I had a price um, range that I needed to pick. He was actually my last player, and I felt he was the the best pick. And um, Jose Enrique, the other present player in my team, um, two points, and uh, I was quite surprised by that, um, considering um, they're playing Man United. Um, I didn't expect um, it to be a one-all draw, that's for sure. Automatic substitution. This is where I, I could have really got let down. Adebayor, um, although he was my captain, um, he was an injury risk, and um, I was debating whether to have him as my captain. Regardless, I did, and um, you know that paid off for me. My vice captain, however, was Luis, who didn't play. So had Adebayor not, not, you know, not played. I would have got what Bannon would have gone in. I would have got an extra point, so I would have lost um, 15 points off 32. Yeah, good luck. <laughs> exactly. That's how bad uh, that week could have been. Um, and that's it, really. Um, tragic week for me. Um, at the moment, it seems I've wasted my um, wild card, but um, I'm, you know, clinging on to the, you know, the vague hope that, um, you know. Over the coming weeks, um, my transfers will come good, mainly Tottenham. But, um, you know, there's only one way to find out, as they say, and that's just to wait. So, my name's Aiden, otherwise known as Roland WWFC.